Hello everybody and welcome back to Yard Sale Squad. Today starts a four part series on my channel where I am transitioning my closet from summer to fall. So I want you to come along with me. We're gonna go through the summer items. We're gonna pull out anything that I didn't really pull for. We're gonna go ahead and let that go. And then in the videos to come, I'm gonna share with you some of the pieces that are inspiring my wardrobe this fall and some of the things that are on my to find list. I'm also going to show you a closet refresh. And then finally, I'm gonna show you my autumn capsule. So that's kind of a little glance at what we have ahead for this series, but today we are going to focus on packing away summer well. So come along with me. I'm going to show you the mess that has become my closet for the last month or so, and then we are going to work on really making it nice for the upcoming fall season. All right, so I have done a little bit of thrifting recently. I think probably in total I have maybe seven new pieces. Some of them you've seen and then a few you have not. So I got those pieces and honestly, I didn't really have room. I told you I was gonna one in and one out one of those items and I have, but the other ones I didn't really have a spot for. I didn't really have enough hangers. I didn't really have enough spots in my baskets, my boxes up above. So. I haven't really set aside the time and dedicated the time just to fix all of that. So everything is down here next to me in the chair. <laughs> this poor chair sometimes collects things. Sometimes I'm better about it than others, but right now it is definitely full and it needs to be emptied. So I'm going to go through first of all, and I'm going to pull out everything that really just says spring and summer to me. During this time where we're wanting it to be fall and it definitely, you can tell that we are inching that way. But here in North Carolina, we're still reaching the mid 80s. So I'm really not pulling out full fledged thick sweaters yet. I may go ahead and pull them out, but I'm probably not gonna be wearing them. So anyway, we're kind of in this transitional period and some of the things from my spring and summer wardrobe are gonna stay, they're gonna hang up. But anything that I look at and it doesn't feel seasonally appropriate to me, but I love it, I'm going to go ahead and put it in a box to put back and gift myself with that next spring and summer. On the other hand, if there's anything that I just haven't pulled for in the spring and summer, if it didn't fit right or I didn't care for the color, whatever the case may be, I'm going to go ahead and put that in a pile to donate. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I am pulling out is actually a birthday present for my daughter. She has a birthday coming up and my husband actually thrifted these vans. She loves unicorns and these basically look brand new. So we were super excited to find those and I'm going to move them to my wrapping bin under my bed so I can get those all wrapped up. This bin has a lot of random shoes and outdoor things and purses. Honestly, I'm going to see if I can eliminate it all together. So I'm going through now and looking at things and trying to determine which things are going to stay kind of as this transition between summer and fall. These two dresses, if you'll remember from my thread up haul, I was supposed to him and I never did. So anyway, it'll happen next year. It's fine. This blazer I'll talk to you about in just a little bit, but it was one that was given to me from a friend and I'm actually going to try to use it this fall. This one, however, I do think leans a little more spring, so I'm going to go ahead and let that go to the bin as well as this floral skirt. I think this dress can transition pretty well to autumn, so I'm going to keep it there. But pretty much all of my other dresses that were from my spring and summer capsule wardrobe, I'm going to go ahead and let those go. A lot of them are kind of in spring and summer colors, and they are shorter lengths, so I'm just going to go ahead and let them go. The process of going through and looking at the previous season before you jump into the next one, I think it's so important, whether you're talking about clothing or whether you're talking about home decor, it feels so good to sort of put a nice bow on the previous chapter before you begin the next one. So that's one of the many reasons why I really enjoy doing this is because I can go ahead and evaluate right now before I get to spring and summer next year. Are these the pieces that I liked? Did I wear these pieces? Did I feel comfortable and confident in them? And it really makes it so much easier to go through things and honestly be able to pass things along because maybe they didn't serve you well. Maybe you've outgrown them. Maybe your tastes have changed. So it really is such a benefit 
beneficial process and it's something that I look forward to doing every season. So gradually we are working on the poor chair here. I'm going through and there were of course a couple of pieces that just got added to the mix that maybe I wore this shirt but I only wore it for a couple of hours. So I'm pretty much just going through and figuring that out. All right we have pulled pretty much everything that is spring and summer over to my bed. It's in a massive pile and I pulled aside a couple of things that I think I am going to part with. The first one is this really nice blouse tank top. The brand is TCEC and this one is a hard one uh, but I think sometimes clothing decisions don't come easy. You really have to be honest with yourself. So this is the tank top and I really do love it. It has a lot of beautiful detailing. Um, if you have watched me for some time, you know I love like a flutter sleeve detail. And I have worn this and I have loved it, but it never has fit quite right. It is a little tight across the chest and it also cuts in slightly right here in a way that I've always just been a little self-conscious about. I feel like it's not super flattering in this like underarm area. So when I pulled it out this spring and summer, I debated whether I should keep it or whether I should donate it. And I've worn it for one more season and it's been fine, but because of those reasons, I'm just gonna go ahead and pass it on. It's a beautiful blouse and there's somebody else out there who is built just slightly different than me that is going to feel perfect in this. So I'm gonna pass it along and just hope it finds the right person. All right, this next one is a floral dress. It's from Old Navy and for a time I, I really liked it and it didn't make it into my spring summer capsule this year and I haven't really thought anything about it and I haven't really missed it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and pass it on. Again, somebody else can love it better than I do and it will suit them a lot better and it will do much more good there than in the top of my closet. All right, two more things here. This one was a tank top. It is a Zara Basics tank top. Again, the way that it cuts in is not super flattering, I feel like for me. Uh, it cuts in this way and it's just in this green color. So again, a very good basic and I think that it's in good enough shape that, that somebody will want it at the thrift store. All right, the last one for now is this t-shirt. It's an Old Navy shirt. It's just white with some red stripes. And I'll be honest, I don't know if I'm going to donate this one or if it's going to get demoted to my t-shirt drawer. My drawers are also getting ready to get a makeover. There's just, there's too many things in there. There are also some things that I just know I don't care for and it just really is going to take some time and attention. So I'm going to put this one over here and as I'm going through my t-shirts, I'm going to decide if I would rather have this one instead of one of the other ones. As far as the things that I've kept in my closet that are summer items that will transition over to autumn, I'm going to keep this uh, CI Sono dress that I showed you guys that I thrifted. I think that this will transition really well and I can put, you know, a sweater or a cardigan or a blazer over it. I kept my denim in here. I also kept this uh, blazer that a friend gave me. I wore this in the spring and I think that I could wear it in the fall too. So I'm just going to play around with it. I'm going to keep it in here for now. Last couple of things here. Uh, again, I'm gonna play around with this one. This was one of the thread up dresses that I got this year. It is a long one. And I think that it did really well in the summer, but I think I could also transition it to fall. So it's kind of in here as an experiment. Will I use it? And then if I see that I don't, I'll just go ahead and transfer it up to the boxes. All right, the last three items here. This one is a again an experiment a maybe this was one that i thrifted because of the color i just wanted to try it and it's not typically what you think of when you think of fall but i'm wondering if i can pair it with other colors and make it feel that way um so again i'll try it if not i'll put it up for spring and then i have two denim shirts here i just have this classic fit levi's it's kind of a medium denim and then i have this crown and ivy that is more of a, a lighter denim. I do also know that I have a darker denim in my fall capsule, so these may or may not stay. I don't really need three denim shirts in my autumn capsule wardrobe. All right, now is the part that gets really exciting. I'm gonna pull down the autumn boxes, and I guarantee you, because it happens every year, 
there are some pieces up there that I have forgotten about. So it's kind of like going shopping. That's one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why I cycle out my clothing seasonal is because I can pull those things out and it's such a nice pleasant surprise. So I'm going to pull them down and I'm going to show you a couple of the things that catch my eye and that I'm excited about adding. I also just found this dress. This was one that was a possible contender for my spring and summer capsule and I'm just not excited about it. Um, it's a very like stretchy material so it is nice. I'm going to put it in the spring bin just to kind of revisit uh, but it's not something that I'm, I'm super excited about but We'll just revisit it then. This brings me so much joy to be able to pull these bins out. This very first thing on top, I had forgotten about. So I thrifted this back in the spring. It is a dress by the brand Woolrich. And it's just such an easy dress. I love the color and the fit of it. So right out of the gate, I was excited to find that. As well as those dark denim. Because I've missed my dark denim. I also forgot that I had picked up this light gray sweater the last year, and then this is a Christmas sweater with a bow, so I look forward to wearing that in the coming months. I did create a sort of maybe pile as I went, and this is something that I pretty much do every time I go through my closet and transition from one season to the next. I create a pile that I'm not sure about. Now, this top I was excited about because I need just some solid basics. And this is that Gap denim shirt that I told you that I just love. It's so good. And this will, again, be my graphic tee for the fall season for the second year in a row. And I love a brown sweater on me. There's another solid long sleeve tee. This sweater is always a fun one. It's universal thread, and I love the oatmeal color and the chunky knit. This I thrifted in the spring. The brand is Orvis, and it has these really fun leather elbow patches. I just think that it's really fun and unique. This one I've had for a really long time, and I'm just going to put it in the maybe pile and give it a try on later. All right, everyone, so I have gone through all of my fall boxes. Nearly everything is hanging up and it is full, so we may have to do an edit or two, but that'll be for a later video. I wanted to end by showing you two pieces that I thrifted that I'm going to add to the fall capsule. The first is this sweater. It is the brand Kim Rogers and it is 100% cotton. So I really am drawn to this color as I'm unpacking. I have just so many things that are beige, oatmeal, tan. So that may be something that I have to pare down on. But I really loved this one. I love the feel of it. It is super soft. And that was one thing that I was noticing while I was unboxing was, again, I mentioned this in a previous video, but I'm just paying more attention to fabrics. And this is 100% cotton. My Gap denim shirt is 100% cotton. And they're just pieces that not only do they feel great, but they last. And I'm just really finding that I appreciate that as opposed to, say, this white sweater. It also happens to be Kim Rogers. It is also kind of a thin cable knit, very similar. But this one is 100% cotton and this one is 100% acrylic. And the feeling of them is just night and day. So I can already tell you that this one is kind of on the chopping block and it's probably gonna get the boot. I love the color. I would like to find something similar to replace it, but in a better fabric. All right, and the last thing, again, same color family. I like what I like, but I found this and I just thought that it was so fun. I don't have anything like this. So it is an itchy fabric, but it is a top layer. So I can put something under it and it won't be right up against my skin. It is kind of like a, like a grandpa vest. I'll get up close so you can see. It has these beautiful wooden buttons. It doesn't actually say what the material is, but it does feel very like acrylic or wool or something kind of itchy. It doesn't really say. But I wore it this week over my blue and white striped shirt and I already got two compliments on it. So that was really fun. It's just something very fun, very different. Definitely like a transitional fall piece. And again, I, I didn't have anything like it. Well, this color, but not, not this. 
All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for coming along as I pack away the seasonal wardrobe and go on to the next one. This is always such a fun process for me. It takes some effort on the front end, kind of like meal planning does, but for me, it is just so beneficial because then it sets me up for the entire season. So you will have to come back. I would love to have you come back whenever I go through and show you my list of the things that I'm looking for to complete my wardrobe. And then we're going to do a little closet refresh. And then finally, I'm going to share with you the completed autumn capsule. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel. Please make sure you like this video and subscribe and I will catch you next time.